So thank you so much um, for joining us today. I'm just going to ask you a few questions about, um, you know, what you've been doing during this period and also a bit about your playing career. So, um, so you've played a, a key role during this pandemic. Can you share with us what you've been up to and how you've been helping the NHS? So what we've been doing with my company, MediConnect, we've been supplying NHS and other government bodies um, with huge volumes of, of PP supplies. Yeah. So masks, gowns, um, gloves, aprons. Um, yeah, we've been supplying a, a large volume. And you've also, you collaborated with um, Blackburn midfielder Michael, sorry, Bradley Johnson um, to do this. Um, what made that come about? So Bradley's a good good friend of mine. And as we're, we're supplying, um, like I said earlier, the NHS and stuff, we've got the contacts to be able to, to source these PPE stuff. Yeah. So what we did is we came together and said, let's make a charity where we can get donations and buy, buy products directly from manufacturer and physically hand them out and make sure they go into places of need. Yeah. So that's more to help out care homes and, and such that literally um, have got nothing. Um, yeah. They don't have the finances or the, or the, um, the, the ways of, of getting the product. So if the NHS is struggling, then you can imagine what it's like lower down. Yeah, I can imagine, yeah. And, and you know, a lot of the, the players received a lot of criticism for not, um, donating a percentage of, of their wages um, before the Players Together campaign. What are your thoughts on that? I thought it was it was ridiculous that the that players were under pressure to to play their part. Um, footballers are just uh, one one type of highly paid people in the country. They're not the highest paid. Yeah. Um, I don't think they should have come under any sort of pressure the way they did. Um, they're not even the most highest paid athletes in the country when you look at Hamilton and Joshua and Fury and stuff. So he, yeah. and then some of the golfers. So I think it was just uh, one of those things where footballers get targeted. Um, this is another case of that. Yeah, thank you. Um, and like you mentioned earlier on, um, with with MediConnect, um, you went from you know being a professional footballer to having your own um, medical tech startup. Um, what inspired you to go into and create MediConnect? So basically, a good a, uh, group of friends of mine started a company, a pharmaceutical company. So I learned learned the industry, and then on top of that, I wanted to make a a blockchain platform which allowed um, transparency across the supply chain. Yeah, which could stop counterfeit medication, can stop overuse of prescription medication, and and do a lot of various things to add some kind of authenticity to what what the products are. In fact, if the product if the platform was fully built now. Yeah. In this pandemic, it, it's a perfect use case because I don't know if you've seen, but there's been <clears throat> a lot of fake PPE supplies going around, and certifications don't match the the, the um, items and stuff. So it's it's a case of if it was on the blockchain, none of that would have happened. Yeah, yeah, because you you'd be able to see exactly where everything is going and 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 where it's exactly coming from. yeah where it's coming from, where it was made what certification was, was on it at, um, at the manufacturer level, yeah. the logistics, um, what day it landed in the country, because a lot of people are saying they have products, um, but they don't. So yeah. you would know if it was in the country or not in the country. Yeah. So, there's so there's so much um, that it would, it would add, because um, at the moment it's a, bit, it's a bit like the Wild Wild West, because companies are just popping up from nowhere trying to make a quick buck, but they don't, they don't know the, the industry. Yeah, yeah, and I mean, going forward, obviously, this this pandemic isn't great, but this will show people that you know having that transparency in that industry is is very important going forward. For sure, I think I think it makes it even more prominent in the industry to for blockchain, uh, and then we're going to be the, the first people that bring blockchain to the pharmaceutical industry. Amazing, amazing, and just going back to your your playing career, you you played in the Premier League and and also the Championship. Um, what would you say was the main difference um, between the, the the level between the two leagues? Um, I think obviously in the Premier League you got that additional quality. Um, you got that 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 additional kind of ruthlessness. Um, but the Championship is a very very tough league. It's more. It's more demanding on your body, more games. Um, it's a, it's a, I think it's a much more closer match division. Um, I think both of them are great, great leagues for different, different reasons. And I personally think that 
championships more exciting than, than okay. the Premier League, but yeah. obviously the Premier League is a better league. Yeah, yeah. And you, you enjoyed your, your best spell uh, at QPR. Um, what was it about the club that, you know, made you so comfortable and, and you know, perform to those those heights? I think it's just the club was, was a lovely club. It was a family club. Um, good, a great stadium, a traditional stadium where opposition teams didn't want to come. Um, I just felt it just it just clicked. I was young, getting yeah, my opportunity, my first 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 team opportunity yeah. um, of regularly regularly playing and, and being the main man in the team. So it meant a lot. So you know that was a that was a great time in my career. Yeah, and, and you went on to spend quite a, a long time at Nottingham Forest as well. What was you know so different, and why did you you know felt you why did you spend so much such a long period of your of your career at Nottingham Forest? They're they're a great club, not them for us. They're they're a bigger club with bigger expectation. Um, it's a it's a it's a great city. Um, yeah, it was just a place that I had some good times at. Started very well, and you know I got some some fond memories there. So it's a, it's a big part of my career. Is there one? Forest. Is there one that kind of stands out for you that you know you remember at your time at, at Forest? I scored one goal against Bristol City when I first come. That kept Forest in the league. Yeah. Um, in the 90th minute, so it was a very big, very big goal. Yeah, and and during your playing career, who would you say was you know the the most standout and the best player that you played with? Um, good question. There's a lot of different players, of course. Played with some very good players. Um, ability wise, it'd probably have to be a to rap. Wow, it was yeah. like a real, real player in terms of ability. Yeah, he could literally win a game whenever he decided to. Um, but yeah, I played with many players with England. I played all the England age groups up to under twenty ones. To some great players there, I played my youth team at Southampton. I had the likes of Adam Lallana, Gareth Bale, wow. Theo Walcott. Yeah, so that was in my in my youth team. So you know, it's, it, I played with some very good players. And and you know, you mentioned Tarak. Was he like that in training too? As we saw on match days. Yeah, he was worse than training. He was worse than training. <laughs> he was worse than training. I'm telling you, top top player. Yeah, and and going forward as well. So, what's the future plans for MediConnect um, going forward with, with with you and going forward? So we're going to continue to build the platform out that we've already started on. Um, mm-hmm. That should be out very soon. And and what we'll do is we'll be the first blockchain um, company in the pharmaceutical industry that can add transparency all the way from manufacturer down to all the way down to patient. Mm-hmm. So you'll be able to to scan a unique QR code on your on your box of your medication and know exactly where that drug came from and what's inside it. And all right, thank you so much for your time. Um, thank you so much for you know. I know this is a very busy period for you. I just want to say that what you're doing is is amazing, and the role that you're playing it w- will help you know the country deal with the pandemic in in a very very big way. So I, I want to say that. You know, on behalf of everyone, I thank you for what you're doing and appreciate you taking no the time out. Thank you very much. No problem. Thank you, man. Thank you. Thank you, man. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.